We start this half hour with the anticipation of the weekend's Super Bowl. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis as we take a live look over Allegiant Stadium, where in 48 hours it will be swarming with football fans hoping to get a glimpse of Super Bowl 58. Where are our Lions? Darn it. <laughs> Ryan Keacham is in Las Vegas for us tonight. And Ryan, this is expected to bring in a lot of cash for LV, yeah? coming in for Las Vegas, but the economic impact will also be seen nationwide. According to the National Retail Federation, they say that fans are expected to pay around $17.3 billion nationwide on Super Bowl 58 apparel, food, and beverages. We're expecting a, a historically very high economic impact for the Super Bowl. The National Retail Federation is projecting Super Bowl 58 to have the highest total fan spending and viewership of any Super Bowl. Over three quarters of U.S. adults or around 200 mil 201 million people were planning to turn into this year's Super Bowl. Um, this is surpassing last year's record of 193 million consumers. And every fan knows when you watch the big game, you need to have great game day food. 80% of the 17 plus billion dollars fans are expected to spend on the big game this weekend will go towards food and beverages. Ribs, hot dogs, hamburgers, everything you can think of. And the National Beer Wholesalers Association expects beer sales to rise 20% nationally for the Super Bowl. You got one thing that must be part of your stop and that is beer, America's beverage. The big game is also expected to bring massive crowds to Las Vegas. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce expects around 450,000 people to travel in. Traditional visitor coming to Las Vegas spends about $1,100 per person per trip. A typical visitor or the visitors that we know are already on their way, or here already for the Super Bowl, are spending somewhere between four and five times that amount. And part of that spending has to do with people trying to get in this stadium right here, Allegiant Stadium, this is home of Super Bowl 58. According to Ticketmaster, average price for one ticket is around $9,500 right now. So a lot of fans say that they don't have enough money to get in there, but lucky enough for them, there are over 300 events going on around the Las Vegas area that fans from any price point can be able to attend and still get that Super Bowl experience, guys. Still get the feel. Well, well, now that we have a better idea of how Vegas will benefit financially this weekend, Ryan, how else is the city impacted by hosting the Super Bowl? Yeah, that's right. So it's not just the money that they get in, but also the eyes. I mean, Las Vegas had the F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix just a couple months back, and they had a worldwide audience. That's the same here with the Super Bowl. So not only are people going to be spending money at the bars, at uh, the casinos, and here at Allegiant Stadium, but the eyes and people seeing what Vegas has to offer and wanting to come on by, that's going to be uh, an impact that lasts months to end. So have a good one, guys. All right, Ryan, thank you. We will, same to you, live in Las Vegas. We appreciate you joining us.